Morgan. It's been six months. Everything's okay. This is Special Agent Gideon. Special Agent yeah. Morgan, our expert on obsessional crimes. Yeah, okay. Special Agent Reed. Dr. Reed. Uh, Dr. Reed, our expert on, well, everything. Reed, you good with this? We got a woman who's only got a few hours left to live, an incomplete profile, and a unit chief on the verge of a nervous breakdown. They don't call them nervous breakdowns anymore. It's called a major depressive episode. I know, Reed. Medical school. There are PhDs, three of them. What are you, a genius or something? I, I, I don't believe that intelligence can be accurately quantified, but I do have an IQ of 187 and an eidetic memory and can read 20,000 words per minute. Yes, I'm a genius. Time and he knows the process. And all you will get now is a demand for a lawyer. Hi, right, let's check the garage and show me what you got. Next time, show him a leg. Morgan, the only time you're going to see a little leg from me is when I'm about to kick your ass. Six tries. Try again. Fail again. Fail better. Samuel Beckett. Try not. Do or do not. Yoda. Anything that might be in the background, can you do it? Okay, you know how on Star Trek when Captain Kirk asked McCoy to do something totally impossible and McCoy says, damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker? Hey, what are you telling me? Not to expect a miracle? No, I'm saying I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no badges. I don't want to satisfy the unsub's need for attention by letting him know we got the FBI here. Try not to look official. Try to look less official. Garcia, what are you doing in the FBI? I didn't get into medical school. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Ouch. That's what my father said. All right, I'm about to teach you something, so pay attention. You should see what comes in when you type the word death into a search engine. <laughs> Reed, no wonder you can't get a date. Shared physiological pain. And you believe it? No, I'm just saying it's possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything. I mean, despite the fact that you think that I do. I never said that. When have I ever said that? Every day since I met you. This morning at breakfast. Yesterday when he beat you at cards. Um, we've got one minute. I kept kicking, but I was afraid you didn't get my plans. I got your plan the minute you moved the hostages out of my line of fire. Well, I hope it didn't hurt you too badly. Hotch, I was a 12-year-old child prodigy in a Las Vegas public high school. You kick like a nine-year-old girl. A missing little girl is always going to be news. So did you get all the photos and everything you need? Look, she's been missing since yesterday. How come you guys just got here? We'll have a press conference. When? Soon. <laughs> Come on, JJ. Give me something, huh? For old time's sake. <sighs> okay. You may want to rethink that tie. You're breathing on my neck. I'm sorry. I'm <clears throat> sorry for that. You two having fun? Oh, yeah. Sifting through the life and times of Freddy Condor with Dr. Reed here's a party I wouldn't want to miss. Credit card receipts show... Measure not the work until the day's out and the labor done. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I got absolutely nothing. Oh, nothing. Two pair of bases. Oh, oh, oh get out of town. See, why are you always winning? Nuh-uh. Because he cheats. Poker, it's mathematics, it's statistics. Oh, it's, yeah. He's from Vegas. Uh, okay. House rules. There's that, too. All right, shuffle. Yeah. Give me a card. Hey, Hutch. Yeah. Did you send flowers to that tech room girl, Garcia, and say they were from me? Yeah. Why? Right. Jason, people need to know that they're important, and sometimes you forget that. Well, I already sent her a gift, an MP3 player. They last longer, unless you drop them or the battery dies, whichever comes first. So she got two gifts? Well, she thinks I'm sweet on her. 